Yeah, what's up? What's up? Follow me. I have something interesting to show you. Okay. So, I have an email that I want you to read. And normally, okay. every time I get emails, I kind of like pass them off because some people like tell me weird stuff. Yeah, of course, of course. But I get this one email from this guy and it's really interesting what he says. And I just want you to read it and then tell me what you think. Okay. Just open it up here and then just, here it is. So just read that out loud and... Hello, Mike. Hope things are going well. I was recently on your channel and noticed you posted haunted related videos as well. Whereas I thought you mostly looked for monsters and legends. If I knew about this sooner, I would have told you about this place long time ago. I know of a barn. Okay, all right. A haunted, haunted barn. barn. This place is the home of a demon. Now I'm not sure if you and your team would like to mess with this kind of thing. If you're not interested yet, listen to this. My friend's family owns this barn, okay? okay? So it's like, it's like a local thing for him. From what I know, this barn was built over an old graveyard. Anything <sighs> is never good. It's it is never, never good that something's built over an old graveyard. Bought the property in the late 1950s. Back then, one of the family members was part of a group of witches and was responsible for summoning the demon that lives there. The Remember the last place? Airbnb. Yeah. Well, the reason why that place was haunted was because a witches. witch got executed or something, Witches right? and her family got executed. Everything that has to do with witchcraft. That is messed up. The demon arranged a deal with the witch. It would grant her wealth and power in exchange of the life or soul of the next male born in the family. Oh my god, dude. This is Crazy, freaking right? creepy. That didn't happen till 50 years later when my friend Sean was born. Ever since then, every family gathering at the barn has gotten weirder and weirder each year. Year. The family eventually caught on to what was happening and decided to never go back for the sake of Sean's life. This was just five years ago. This is a creepy insane, email. Dude. Right? There's there's one last part. Um I know all this can sound very odd and trust me, I know. But if you're interested, I can give you more details and discuss it over the phone. You know you can reach me at and then it's says the number. The number. Do you I don't know if we wanna uh, I don't think so, no. Yeah. I mean that sounds crazy. I mean I'm I'm glad Sean seemed to have like like made it out right? on right like and like the family and stuff but i wonder what would have happened it happened for them to know that oh yeah how are they trying to take control of this guy like, how right? are they starting to act weird like over time and stuff right like that's like as soon as he's creepy. born that's basically when the demon probably got more powerful and tried to like latch on to this kid yeah that is that's hella creepy dude i wonder if people still go there because it says and decided to never go back so probably yeah. not no one's been there for five yeah years i would now. i would imagine it would be pretty uh pretty abandoned by now after five years right yeah but uh there's the number so do you want to like i'm hella curious you're curious you want to call it i'm so curious dude okay i i was down to call it but i'm glad you're also down so yeah we're gonna go downstairs we're gonna call this number and see what happened? There we go. So it's ringing, so that's a good sign. It's uh, an actual number. Hey man, how's it going? That's another call. Wait, is that? Wait, Marius? If you think that you've seen messed up things, then you haven't. Until you see your friend being devoured in front of you. Hey, yeah, I'm definitely got the email. Uh, yeah. What the hell? I didn't. I didn't think you sent the email. Right. I guess I. Kind of makes sense now. I should probably check who's sending me emails, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of I kind of want to know more about um, the barn that you were talking about. You said it was like a haunted uh, barn. Yeah, so just to be uh, clear beforehand, uh, have you dealt with demons before? Have I dealt with demons before? I mean, yeah. Yeah, kind, kind of, of, yeah. But we're not really like familiar with like demons and stuff. Okay, okay so that's exactly what I'm talking about. Really? Whoa. Damn. Uh, I haven't personally seen the demon. Uh, I highly, highly think that it's still there. Uh, let's just have been in enough time to know that something's really wrong with what I did. Wow, okay, well. That's a little creepy. I mean, originally I thought the email was like fake, but like, now that it's like no. Marius. But yeah, we know it's Marius. Wrong in the past, right? Right, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Damn. I, I can, yeah, I mean, I can only see why you think it's fake. Uh, yeah, just gotta realize this place is really paranormal. I mean, it's not safe at all. It's really, really, really dangerous. But I figured. So, like, no one's been there in the past five years, apparently. Uh, no, no, no one's been there. Uh, 
safe sometimes send them to the depot um, so the place is clean and uh, nobody's robbed it. Uh, but it's, uh, it's been locked up ever since. Uh, I want to see people go there maybe like twice a year just to make sure the maintenance is fine and uh, that's about it. Okay. Um, yeah. Can you give me a, a second to think about it? I'll just... Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah, one, one second. Bro. This really? sounds pretty interesting, right? So it's Marius. Yeah. And he hasn't been wrong in the past. He told us about the Slenderman's Forest. The Slenderman rake. was there. The rake. The rake was there. Now he's telling us there's a demon in this barn. Should we do it? I mean, I'm down. Let's demons, do it, man. Bro, demons are like a whole different like ball game. I know, but think of Slenderman. That was pretty crazy, right? Just because this is paranormal doesn't mean it's less dangerous than the past two places we've been to. Yeah. Especially, like. Poltergeist, sure. Ghost, sure. But, but demons. Demon. I mean, I would have to. I would have to check it out, like personally, to like really get, you know, like. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's tell him, like, ask him, like, how can we get access? Okay. Yeah. Bar. Yeah. Okay, Marius. Um, we kind of talked about it a little bit, and uh, I think we're we're down to go. Uh, if if you could get us access to the barn. I don't know like how many like loopholes you have to go through to do that since I know it's like your friend's barn, right? So you're down? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm down, man. Are you really sure about that? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, think, we're really sure. Yeah, I think we're really sure. Okay, uh, so uh, yeah, so I don't have the keys. Uh, I need to get permission from my friend. Uh, I know that they're usually just on the door frame or in the shed. When I get the permission, I'll get location and you another email to tell you how to get there. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that that's, sounds good. So I guess you could just like okay. message me, right? Or like send me another yeah, yeah, email. Yeah, yeah um, I'll send you an email. Okay, so I'm gonna go ask him and I'll get back to you guys. Sounds good. Yeah, okay. awesome. All thanks right. for okay. thanks for like telling us about this. This is crazy. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Okay. See you, dude. Bro. That easy, man. That easy, bro. This guy has like... He pulled through once again, dude. Once again. He's such a sketchy character. I mean, I've only met him once. And we were interviewing him for the, the rake. rake thing. And yeah, that's the place he was living and stuff. Like, I mean, he doesn't very, live there, but he was place there he was for like something. For, for business or something, right? And uh, it was weird. I mean, we gotta like film something, right? So he says he's going to ask his friend if we're able to go. But in the meantime, do you wanna ask if anyone else is down? Yeah. Let's so, see uh, how many people we can get this time around. Yeah. I hope we can get five people. Um, all five of us are down to go, but I mean, demons, man, that's a, that's a scary thing. That's a, that's a pretty big deal. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna ask the boys, see if they're down, and hopefully we can get everyone on board to go on this crazy adventure. Time to invade his space. Hello? Can we come in? FBI, open up. FBI, <laughs> you're under arrest. Yeah, he said yeah. He said yeah. Yeah. I can hear him. Three in. Hello? Were you He's fully naked. Oh no. What's going on, dude? We got a. Oh shoot, dude. Look at this. Oh, this is new? Yeah. Set it up. That is really cool. We got another proposition. Uh, my dude uh, hooked us up one more time. I'm not interested. Wait, what? Okay, let's go. Next We're out. In. What? What is it? Okay, so Marius. He's never met Marius, but uh, he's the guy that told us about the Slender Man's Forest. He's the guy that told us about the Riggs Forest. Yeah. Or the Riggs Cabin. And now he's telling us of a place that is home to a demon. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. The, the what kind goat. of demon? That's the thing, we don't know. No specifics, but apparently. Is this uh, place popular? No, it's like his friend, his friend's family owns the place. And it, they normally. Where is it? I don't know. He said he didn't want to give it to us if. Because right now we're not sure if we're actually able to go. Yeah. Right now he's asking his friend if he's giving us access to go there. Interesting. So we don't actually know when we're gonna go or if we're even Is gonna there be pictures able pictures of the place? No. But well, like, I don't wanna come unless there's pictures, okay? I want a nice bed, I want a five-star hotel. And if you don't order me McDonald's at three o'clock in the morning, that's it. If there's no Uber Eats. Oh my god. I don't know anything about this place. I just wanna know if you're interested. I'm interested. Down to go. I'm interested. So you're in? I'm Put her there, brother. All right, we got three people. Who do you think's next? Want to ask Moosey? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, all right, let's go to Moosey's room and see if he's down to meet a demon. 
Moosey. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man. What's up? Um, so we just talked to Jesse. Yeah. He's down, Nick's down, I'm down. There's a place. Do you know the guy that told me about the Slenderman's Forest? Yeah. And the same guy that told me about the race cabin. Oh yeah. He told me about another place. He did? Yeah. This guy's crazy. I know. Super weird dude, but this time he's got, like, he saw our recent video, no one went to Airbnb. Mm -hmm. He saw that and he's like, I didn't even know he did haunted stuff. So let me tell you about a haunted place that I know of. And one of his friends, apparently, his like family is like haunted by like this demon. And this demon lives in this place. Mm. That's crazy. Yo, I don't mess with family and demons, man. Like if it's a family member, what? I don't know, like I'll do regular, you know, old haunted hotels and stuff, but family members and like I don't know, bro. Are you serious? Yeah. That's pretty crazy, man. Like, you're actually thinking of doing this? It's kind of crazy. It's kind of weird. Like, especially the way he, like, he told me by email, by the way. Oh. So that was kind of weird. Yeah. Um, so you're not coming? Or you don't want to come? Okay, so tell me again what exactly this is. So, it's a haunted barn. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. Their family used to go there every year. I don't know if I want to say the story because it's super, super creepy. Oh, no. But the Airbnb was haunted by like the ghost of like the witch and her kids, right? This time, yeah. the family, one of the great great grandmothers, I don't know, she was a witch. Oh no. And she made a deal with this demon to oh try to get God. a soul That's or a body crazy. of a male person. And the demon doesn't have it yet, and we're all guys. Holy crap, I just thought of that. What the hell? And you're gonna do this. What? Yeah, we're going. We don't know where it is right now. We don't know when we're going, but uh, I just want to know if you're, if you're. Bro, I think this one's gonna be way too crazy, and I would say you guys do the same thing, just not go. Cause honestly, bro, this time I think you should sit this one out. I really have a bad feeling, and I usually am down all the time, but this time I have a bad feeling about this one. I think you guys should stay here, and if you do go, just keep me updated and like just be careful. You know? I mean, I think we're still gonna go, but if I get more details, I'll tell you about it. Right now, you're not coming. Is what you're saying. I, I tell you, this time it's too dangerous. I, you guys shouldn't even be messing with this type of stuff. I think you should try something else. But hey, man, if you want to risk it, what do you what do you think, Nick? Like, ah, uh, I, I get what he's saying. Like, I don't want to like be like, or, yo, why uh, are you yeah, being such a. You. But you know, I, I I I get it. I'm not gonna like I hate on the decision. It's kind of crazy. I will say that. So what do we ask, like Mike downstairs? I think uh, Mike's our last one, yeah. I know Mike for sure told me he had nothing to lose, so, you know, that's an easy one. He right had nothing, he has nothing to lose. <laughs> to lose. <laughs> so, Just quit his job. <laughs> oh my god. So. Okay, yeah, well, we'll go downstairs, we'll see if Mike's down, and hopefully we can have four people for this trip. Is he even home? I have no idea. Hello? Yeah, Mike? Oh, oh, yeah, he's he coming, yeah. Any day now. Hey, man, what's hey, going on? What's up? Uh, I know last time. I asked you this, Slender Man's Forest, you're not down to go. This time we have something a little bit easier, I think. Yeah, um, easy. I would say easier. Easier. Uh, there's a haunted barn that we're going to, and uh, we were just wondering if you wanted to come. Jesse's coming, Moosey was too chicken to go, so uh, we need a fourth person. Haunted by what? A demon. A, a demon? Yes. Okay, yeah, sure, that's cool. What kind of demon? I don't know. Demon yeah, we weren't really given it. any like specifics or anything. You know what a demon is? Like a friggin' horns and a tail. Satan, maybe? Okay, he's. God. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'm down. Sure. I. Yeah. Okay. Sign cool. me up. That's the deal. Handshake it, he's coming. Welcome yeah. to the team, pal. Okay, so we got four people me, Nick, Jesse, and Mike. And uh, I don't know where the place is yet, so. Yeah, we still don't on, know, right? On that, but as long as you're down. I'll tell you whenever we're uh, we're getting ready. Oh. Are we hugging? Yep. Our first adventure together. Oh. You guys don't know who this is. This is it's the Morgan. Go follow him on his YouTube. He's a YouTuber as well. He lives yeah. in our basement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I live in the basement. It's not your. Basement. It's my basement. Oh, yeah. it's, I live here. It's okay. His basement. I live in the basement. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So now that everybody's on board, all we need is for Maris to send us a phone call or an email, and if that ever does happen, I'll keep you posted. But until then. Okay. A couple of things that I need to know to uh, see that uh, this agree that 
know, you're allowed to go there as long as you don't touch anything, as long as you leave everything the way it was. Okay, yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh, so uh, try to not make too much of a mess. It doesn't actually have a key per se. It has a, a lock combination on the door. Okay. The key is actually in the shed on the side of the house, but I'll send you the combination for the front door. In case the combination doesn't work, feel free to use the key. Uh, okay, so there's I like a shed, recommend. like on the side yeah. of the, like yeah, next to the house. house. Okay. So, uh, place is kind of in the middle of nowhere, New York State, but, uh... In I'll New York State? GPS coordinates. Yeah, New York State. <laughs> All right. I'll send you the GPS coordinates. Okay. It take you too long to get there. Uh, so if you can't find it, just ask some people around. I'm sure they know where it is. Okay. Cool, dude. You said it was in the middle of nowhere, but is there, like, a, a driveway that we could drive to, or...? Uh, yeah, I think there's a road that leads to it. That's really all I was told. So, cool, so okay. we can go at any time? Yeah, you can go anytime you want. Awesome, man. Uh, cool, so you'll send me the coordinates to the, on email or something? With, uh, yeah, with the lock and everything else. Okay, man, I appreciate everything uh, you're, you're doing for this. It's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, for sure. Bye. Cool, dude. Bye. There we have it, guys. We are going to get the coordinates of the haunted barn, and we're going to get the lock combination to go inside the house. And right now he just sent me the coordinates to the place. It seems like it is in New York State uh, is what he said. So that is kind of far from where we are. But uh, we're still going to try to make the trip there. And he said we could go at pretty much any time. So whenever everyone is free, that's when we're going to be able to go there. I mean, he did sound kind of suspicious. But at the same time, I feel like this could be a very, very cool experience. So... The next time you're gonna see me is probably when we're in the car heading to New York State. So guys, I will see you then. What's going on, man? How you feel? My name is Ian Mike. Welcome back to the Hypest channel on the internet. Today it marks the first day where we are going to be traveling to the haunted barn that Mary's told us all about. Right now it is currently 8.13 in the morning and this is like the earliest I've ever been up in a very, very long time. So I'm very, very tired and everyone else is probably tired as well because everyone's basically been sitting on their computers all night editing all their videos so that they have something to post while we're gone. Because if you guys didn't know, this haunted barn is actually located in New York State, two hours away from New York City. So after we go to this barn, we're planning on making a trip to New York City because I personally never been there and I've always wanted to go there. So with that being said, let's go back inside, get all our stuff ready, and see what everyone's up to. How's everyone doing? I'm cold. Are we ready? Woo! Sleep. Nick, how you feeling? I'm cold. You're I'm cold? like really, really cold. Everyone get their videos done? No. I know mine's getting done. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you're feeling about this. Uh, any extra a details? Spooked? Uh, not really. No, I Ooh. just know it's in New York. So. In New York. Oh, copyright. Mike, have you ever had Chick Fil A? Never once. Ooh. Oh, Never dude, had Chick -fil -A. so good. I can't wait, dude. Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. Guys, I want All you to right. smash the like button if you guys like Chick Fil A. The grind never stops. Look at that. 6:23 a.m. 6:23 a.m. I already told him what time it is. You idiot. How tired are you? How much sleep did you get, Jesse? Look at him. Four hours, baby. Four hours? Four Look hours. at those bags. See, I stayed up all night. Look at me. Um, anyone down for some McDonald's? Start McGriddles! Off. McGriddles! McGriddles! We, we gotta hurry up. Okay, no, no, seriously. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I don't think we're gonna make it on time. I think it's 10.30. I like lunch. Oh. I like lunch more, though, so. Uh, all right. can suck my McDiggle. We got a four-hour drive. So, uh, not that long. Uh, so, yeah. let's hit the road, baby. Cool. We're hitting the road. Do you want to do the cool thingy? Uh, For another grave encounters. Yeah, go from the ground up. Go from the ground up. Is it recording? Yes. Do it yes. Again. I'm sorry, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we made it to the uh, 
GPS spot that he brought us to, and as you can see from this, this is private property. And it's gated, locked yep. with freaking barbed wire and stuff. I'm probably gonna get tetanus, but it's all for the viewers, right? You gotta get that content, right? Exactly, yeah. So we're gonna try to climb over this uh, and follow this path, because there seems to be a way to go, and uh, we gotta sleep somewhere tonight. Uh, what about the car? Just leave the Jeep here? Probably. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave uh, the Jeep, I think. All their stuff. You guys probably want to grab your bags, actually. That's probably good. Yeah, grab yeah. our stuff. Yeah. All right, let's do that, actually. Okay, so let's go. Hey, what's the Dora song? We're going on a trip in our favorite <laughs> rocket ship. That's not Dora. <laughs> guys, stop. That's not Dora. <laughs> Dora is, uh, I, I can't remember Dora's Dora. Thing. Dora the Explorer. Yeah. Dora the Explorer something. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the, the, the instrumental right now. Oh my god. Good song. <laughs> oh, God are you sure this is the right like place to go? I don't know. Yeah. You heard him on the phone, there? man. This All is I have is, is on the path. Mm -hmm. And this is the only one. Blueberries right there. Look. Is that blueberries? Yo, eat it. Oh, blueberries, Jesse. Nope. Oh, we're gonna poison that shit. Those are for sure. Holy oh, God damn. Oh. He added his, he added his, he added his. Oh. Oh. Mike. Mike. <laughs> Imagine his like lips get puffed up. Oh it's no! Like, like an immediate allergic reaction. <laughs> Watch out! There's poison. Po po this is the tiniest guy Actually, here. I'm literally gonna die if there's poison ivy. Are you allergic? You're no. wearing pants. What do you mean you're gonna die? My I'm socks not. are short, bro. Oh, oh my god! god. This man has like an, a centimeter of, of exposed <laughs> skin. <laughs> No brakes, brother. Keep moving. Yeah. I can't. And you can't make me. Jesus, what the hell? Did you guys hear that? What the freak? What was that noise? What was that? I that, heard it like just like a yell, right? You heard that too, right? Where did that Jesus. come from? It was like that was like somewhere, that somewhere in that direction, right? Jesse, you didn't hear that? No. Well, I heard like something, like the echo. I don't know. Do we? Do we go to it? Okay, that's weird. Dude, we've been walking for a long time. We went I don't the know. wrong way. There wasn't that split that we like. Maybe this is like someone's property. That's, we... It's a possible, We're on like the wrong like... area this entire time. They just walked 20 minutes. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's uh that's well, sketchy. What are we gonna do? Should we just like maybe like find it with the car? Because he did say on the phone call, um, I don't know if you were there with me, but he said that you could just drive to it. And why are we here? Why are we, why Hello? Are we walking? We're walking towards the wrong area. Well, we, we, we still like, like kind I'm not of sure if he told know. me to walk on the path or to drive. So let's go back to the car. We'll drive it up. Because we've been walking for way too long, dude. Yeah. We don't know where the hell we're going. Yeah, let's just go back. Oh. Get the car. Woo. The hell? Okay, no, I heard that. Did, did you hear what did it said? Say something? It, it like literally words, like actual an echo. Words. Yeah. How, help how me. Is, how is it? Sounded ex literally exactly like okay, that. Yeah, it didn't say help me. No, it definitely didn't, bro. I don't know if it that's said what that, I heard. I heard something like oh. along those lines. All right, what do you? That's that's okay, no, when you really close. Someone, make sure someone's okay, right? If someone said help, are you kidding? Like what? yeah, let, let's. It go was see. decently close. Close. How close is that? I don't know. I can't really someone tell. Freaking screaming. sound waves. It sounded pretty close. It's kind of like across like the trees over there. What do you, what do you think, man? This is pretty, pretty weird, I, right? I don't know how I feel about going to like a spooky noise that says "help me" and just we don't even know where we are. We're in the middle of nowhere. Needs help. True. Well, good. Well, we, we, need we need help. Look what? Oh shit! Is that, is that oh. it? You think that's? Whoa. I mean, dude, it sounds like is it's coming it? from there too. I. Dude, that thing is you huge. Said, you said you heard it like over the trees, and that's where the barn is. If there's anyone here with us, can you please? What was that? What was that? Dude, that is. I really hope. Bro, what are you doing? What happened? Why are you puking? We heard you puking. Go, 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 go. Get the hell out of the house now. Get out, get out, get out. It was literally running. Jesse. Oh my god. Dude. Bro! 